All happening right now, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis giving an update on Hurricane Idalia. Let's listen. By Florida's Department of Transportation. Power restoration will be a joint effort and all local municipalities should be ready to accept aid from other utility companies and their linemen to get power back on as soon as possible. And that's the ultimate goal, uh, rapid restoration of power. This is a major hurricane. Uh, there's going to be a lot of debris, particularly in that big bend area. Uh, you're going to see a lot of power lines that are going to be down and there's going to be uh, a lot of need for all hands to be on deck. So please accept that mutual aid. Uh, we were able to, in Hurricane Ian, do a very rapid restoration of power uh, in terms of uh, the affected customers. I think the times that took a little longer were either major structural damage close to the storm or uh, some of the co-ops that didn't accept the mutual aid right at the beginning, and it took a little longer. So accept that so we can get the job done. Uh, we are... Um, uh, uh, we want to be able to restore power to all the rural areas in particular. And so we, we do want to make sure that if you have a rural co cooperative, that those folks uh, get the help they need and are willing to accept the help uh, that they need. So we know that this storm is going to hit the state of Florida tomorrow. It is going to be uh, a major hurricane, uh, most likely a Category 3 hurricane. There's um, It's been tracking into the Big Bend area pretty consistently with a little bit of variations. But at the same time, I mean, you got to watch how this thing goes and, and where it can impact. It could veer west and hit places like Tallahassee. It could veer further east and end up impacting more directly uh, other parts of the Florida Peninsula. So, so just make sure you're heeding the warnings from your local emergency management officials. Make sure you're doing what you need to do uh, to keep yourself and your family safe. Uh, we have uh, been working with the counties very closely over the past few days at the state level. We've received more than 450 active mission requests uh, that the state is coordinating, and those, re those requests have either been fulfilled or will be fulfilled uh, sometime during today. We have staged a lot of gasoline, 420,000 gallons worth of gasoline. Uh, Sometimes you get fuel interruptions, sometimes you don't. Uh, we're going to be prepared if there are fuel interruptions to be able to fill the gap. Uh, we have all eight of our urban search and rescue teams activated, uh, and that's close to 600 uh, search and rescue personnel. We hope to not have to need those folks. We hope nobody ends up in distress once the storm hits. But if there is, we're going to have folks that are going to go out there. Kevin Guthrie already mentioned earlier today that a storm that's hitting uh, late morning, early afternoon, you will probably end up getting calls as we get into the evening hours. We're going to be doing rescues uh, at night as well. That's typically not the way you want to do it. You want because there's going to be down power lines. There's going to be certain hazards. It's going to make it more difficult for our personnel. But we we are going to be there and we're going to we're going to get the job done. Uh, we're already delivering things like water, MREs, and tarps uh, to local communities. Shelters are being opened or have been opened and are continuing to be open all across uh, Florida's Gulf Coast uh, and in beyond. Uh, we are deploying the Starlink Internet. Two, almost 250 of those devices have been deployed, and we have over 500 staged and ready to go as those are needed uh, going forward uh, in the future. So we want to just thank everybody who's a part of the power restoration efforts. We appreciate what our uh, electric utilities from Duke and FPL and TECO, as well as our municipal electric outfits and the co-ops. Thank you for taking this seriously. Thanks for the preparation. And when you prepare and you're ready to go, you can make that, uh, you can accomplish that mission. But this is uh, likely going to be a storm that's going to leave an awful lot of debris I think there's going to be a need to do a lot of road operations. You know, in Hurricane Ian, there really weren't as many uh, of the cut and toss operations. There was some, but when you look at where this storm is going to hit, there's a lot of heavily wooded areas. So I think you're going to see a lot of these trees knocked down. You're going to see power, li power lines knocked down, and it's just going to require a, a concerted effort. So the, what Duke is doing, what the other companies are doing, is, is recognizing that this is a significant uh, uh, task, and it really will impact uh, how we respond to this, how quickly we're able to get all this stuff back up and running. So I want to thank everyone for who's been involved, and I can tell you 
uh, the uh, people of Florida really appreciate these linemen being out there. Uh, I can tell you after Hurricane Ian, it was like they, they'd see the, the folks racing into Fort Myers and these other areas, and they were very, very appreciative of all the hard work that was being done. This is not easy work, especially in late August in Florida. Uh, it's going to be nasty. It's going to be hot. Uh, there's going to be a lot of moving parts. And so this is really important work. The state of Florida very much appreciates everybody, particularly those who've come from out of state, uh, to help the people of Florida. And I know the Floridians uh, very much appreciate it as well. So thank you, and God bless you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.